Hey YouTube, I'm back. I thought I'd do an update video to my watch collection. I have actually picked up a few new watches since my last video, so I thought I'd do a state of the collection video. Uh, one of my watches is currently not here. My Omega F300 was currently sent out to Switzerland. Uh, the parts are not really available in the United States, so it had to be sent out. So hopefully they can get that fixed. But everything else is here, so I can show you what I do have. So starting off, I do have my Rolex Milgauss with the green sapphire crystal. Next, moving on to my dad's old Concord steeplechase, uh, which I did put a new battery in it, and this is in stainless steel and 18 karat gold. This one's from about 1994, if I'm not mistaken. I have to look at the uh, box again to make sure. But it's around that time. All right, uh, moving on to a watch I actually found fairly recently. Um, it's a little bit of an interesting watch, kind of a vintage piece. Uh, this one's from the early 60s. This is a Timex electric Dynabeat. And this is an interesting watch. Uh, besides the uh, retro dial, kind of that trapezoidal date window, um, it's actually kind of a hybrid watch. It's actually a battery powered, uh, but it's got mechanical gears in it. So it's kind of a quartz mechanical watch. And it runs a little bit smoother, as you see, than a uh, standard uh, quartz watch. So very interesting. I guess it's an early, I guess you could say quartz piece. I actually swapped out the um, kind of chintzy band that was on it originally. I put on this uh, kind of Milanese band that I had laying around, but eventually I'm going to put it on NATO. Moving on to my Citizens. Uh, first is my Citizen EcoDrive Nighthawk. And this is on the uh, Milanese band. Very nice band. It also comes on a uh, standard bracelet as well, but I prefer the uh, Milanese band. Uh, next is the Citizen EcoDrive World Chronograph Blue Angels. And this gorgeous uh, blue dial with this a yellow stripe going on in the side to really set it off against the other watches. And it also has the uh, US Navy Blue Angels crest on the back, which is a really nice touch. Real comfortable watch to wear. Highly recommend that one. All right, moving on to a watch I've been actually dying to get. I really want an Omega Speedmaster. It's actually my favorite watch, um, but I currently don't have one yet. But in the meantime, I do have another historically significant watch or a remake of a historically significant watch. And this is the uh, Bulova Moon Watch uh, Special Edition, which is a kind of a um, kind of a reissue, I guess you could say, of the original watch. The original watch, there was a one-off, so it wasn't in production. But uh, this watch was actually, or the original one was actually worn in uh, the Apollo 15 mission. So it actually was on the moon, because uh, the, uh, the astronaut's original Speedmaster actually broke. I think the crystal actually popped out, so they actually replaced it with this Bulova. But this is a real nice watch, kind of that Speedmaster look. It actually has... Uh, gives all the uh, the uh, the mission details on the back. Um, this, it's a special edition. Um, I'm not sure if it's limited, but um, if you're interested in this watch, I'd highly, highly recommend it getting it sooner rather than later. It comes with two straps, uh, a leather strap and a kind of an astronaut NATO. I actually swapped those out for this uh, Maritac Admiralty Gray uh, Zulu, which I think goes real well with this watch. Real nice watch, and I think it's going to, they're going to go up in price in the future. Uh, next, moving on to my birth year watch, which is this Omega Art Collection. And this one is has a very interesting design compared to the other watches. It's very minimalist, has that kind of hidden Omega logo, and the little date window at the bottom with this kind of upside-down Movado look. It is ceramic, um, so it does have a little chip on the bottom, so I have to get this fixed eventually. Um, again, it is my birth year watch, uh, 1987, and this is a Paul Fullman. Uh, they do have other different versions with different artwork on the back, uh, but this is the Paul Fullman model, which was limited to 999 watches. Very cool watch, a little bit small for me, but very interesting compared to the rest of the others. All right, moving on to my Seikos. Uh, first is my SNP 007, which is uh, the watch I've had since college. Um, this is a Couture Kinetic watch, so this watch will pretty much last forever. 
Next, moving on to another one of my dad's older watches. Uh, this is the uh, Seiko 7N320049. This is probably from the late 80s, early 90s. It's currently not running, it needs a new battery in it. Uh, this is in stainless steel and I guess uh, gold plate. It has a nice uh, textured dial if you can see that. Um, real cool dress watch. Uh, eventually I have to get a new battery put into that one. And my last Seiko is uh, one of my favorites. I really don't wear this watch, but it's just kind of a, a nice collector's piece. And this is the uh, Seiko SCED uh, 035 uh, Juzaro uh, Ripley watch. And uh, this is the watch that was worn in the movie Aliens. And this is the one to get. They do make several different models of this in different colors, but this is the, the original one that was actually worn in the movie. So this one was limited to 3,000 watches. Um, but a really cool watch and this one's definitely going up in price uh, and the last three watches again are my Vostoks um, the first one is my scuba dude the reason why it's got that name it's got a little scuba diver on it um, I forgot the name of this case design they do have uh, several different case designs for the Vostok amphibias I think this is the 090 I could be wrong about that but it has this nice teal dial with um, this, I uh, put it on this Bond NATO. Very cool watch, this, this is my daily beater. Next is my custom U-boot uh, amphibia. The reason why I call it the U-boot is because it's got a little submarine on it. Uh, this one I put on a uh, shark mesh uh, band with the, uh, this also has a Murphy bezel and a Seiko SNK or SKX uh, 009 uh, Pepsi bezel put into it. I wear that one pretty often as well. And the last one I'm gonna leave completely stock, and that's my Soviet uh, Amphibia, which you can see it's a Soviet, so it has a little CCCP on the bottom. And this is an, one's also a U-boot, has a little submarine behind the uh, hour hand. But I'm gonna leave this one completely stock. Nice little historic piece. It's all beat up and I'm just going to leave it the way it is. So that's currently my watch collection. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know and please rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much and have a good day.